Shopify just announced a new type of discount code, which is buy X, get Y. So what that means is that you can set up a discount to where if your customer buys three pairs of socks, they get their fourth pair for free or for 50% off. You can set this up to where it's any kind of product or collection. And it's a really cool way to add an additional promotional element to your online store. So in this video tutorial, we're gonna go right through into the back end of Shopify and I'm gonna show you exactly how to get this set up for your own online Shopify store. So now we're in the back end of my Shopify store and I'm on the discounts page. So you can see it over here in the left hand menu of discounts. So I don't have any discounts already set up, which is why we're seeing this here. If you already have a few discounts set up, then you would see all of those listed here as well as how many people are taking advantage of those discounts. So we're going to go ahead and create our first one being the buy one, get one. So I'm just going to hit create discount. And you can see here it is introing the, the buy one, get one example. So the first thing that we're going to do is in this discount field, we are going to name it. So we can say, you know, make that whatever you want it to be. You can also have it auto generate the code by clicking here. However, I do like having it to where it's something that it's easy to remember and type in, especially if you're sharing it on social media or in your email newsletter. So in the options area, you'll see here the ability to do the percentage, fixed amount or free shipping, which were the discounts before. But if we click on this buy X, get Y, now we're able to set up the new discount. So. What we're going to do first is we're going to choose where or which specific products or collections they have to purchase something from. So you can see here of any item from, you can do specific products. So if you wanted it to be a specific product that they bought one of or two of or whatever it was, you could choose that here and click in here to get the product. Or you can do collections. So I'm going to come hit collections. I'm just going to hit browse and this is going to show me all of my collections. So I'm going to say if they buy one charm and so because it's here the charm I need to add in the quantity of one then we can have it to where they get one free or maybe we say you buy two then you get one free and again you can make this a specific product or a specific collection. I'm going to do it a collection again so they could choose what they wanted it to be. And say, if you buy two charms, you get one charm free. And also in this last bit, you can choose to where, so I was saying free in my example, however, you can choose to where it's 50% off or, or whatever you want that discount to be. I definitely recommend when you're setting this up that you figure out what that profit margin is and make sure that you are still you know, breaking even or it's, making a little bit of money for you because you don't want to end up you know giving such a good discount that you're giving away a bunch so we're going to hit free here and then in terms of the customer eligibility you could choose to only have it be for a specific group of customers so you could choose that group here of who you want to be able to use that code or you could just do everyone or you know individual customers which you would be a little bit more challenging to set up um, if you were doing for specific people. So I'm gonna keep this one at everyone. And then the usage limit, so you can limit the number of times that the discount can be used. So say this is only for the first 100 people that purchase, or you can also just limit it to one per customer. I always like to click this just because it makes it so that someone can't come in and, and purchase so many of this specific offer. This is very key to remember, especially if you're doing a big discount like for Black Friday where it's 50% off, you don't want one person buying 10 of that item. And then the last area is the active date. So if you wanted this to end at a certain time, you can always set the end date or you can schedule it out in advance by picking another date. 
and that way it kind of automatically will schedule out and you can have everything ready in your email newsletter and social media so now we're going to look over here in the summary area and you can see again the discount code as well as the buy two items get one item for free and the fact that only one use per customer and it's active today so again you can come up here and get really creative with this whole example so how you've seen times you know of buy one pair of shoes get a pair of socks free or buy you know three pairs of socks get the last one free you can really set this up to however you want just make sure that it is still going to be profitable for you and your business so the final step is just to hit save And now if we go back to the main discounts area up here, you can see that we have this set up and you'll start seeing once people are using this, how many people are using the discount. And if you had it out of a set amount, like only 100 available, you'll see as that's going up closer to the 100 number of how many more are available for you to use. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. Check out our other videos here that show you exactly how to set up your discount codes if you're wanting to set up any of the other ones, not including the new one that I just walked you through. Also make sure to subscribe if you have not already so that you can be the first to be notified when we put out new video tutorials all about Shopify and how to grow your online store.